In recent years, a controversial and thought-provoking theory has emerged, challenging the traditional narrative of Black Americans' ancestry. Contrary to the widely accepted belief that the majority of Black Americans are descendants of African slaves brought to the United States during the transatlantic slave trade, some researchers propose that a significant portion of Black Americans are actually descendants of the indigenous people of North America. This theory suggests that many Black Americans are hidden natives, the original inhabitants of the land, whose true heritage has been obscured by historical misinterpretations and systemic erasure. The traditional narrative holds that the majority of Black Americans are the descendants of African slaves brought to America between the 16th and 19th centuries. During this period, millions of Africans were forcibly transported across the Atlantic and sold into slavery, predominantly in the southern United States. This narrative is supported by extensive historical documentation, including ship manifests, plantation records, and legislative acts. However, proponents of the hidden native theory argue that these records do not tell the whole story. They point to the pre-Columbian presence of dark-skinned indigenous peoples in North America and argue that these populations were much larger and more widespread than traditionally acknowledged. One of the primary pillars of the hidden native theory is genetic evidence. Recent advancements in genetic testing and ancestry analysis have revealed that many Black Americans have genetic markers that are consistent with indigenous North American populations. These findings challenge the assumption that African ancestry is the predominant genetic heritage of Black Americans. Genetic studies have shown that some Black Americans possess mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, haplogroups commonly found in indigenous North American tribes. Additionally, Y-chromosome haplogroups, which trace paternal lineage, also reveal connections to indigenous populations. While these genetic markers do not entirely negate African ancestry, they suggest a more complex genetic heritage than previously understood. Oral histories and cultural practices also support the hidden native theory. Many Black American families have passed down stories of indigenous ancestry, often recounting connections to specific tribes and regions. These oral histories, while sometimes dismissed as folklore, provide valuable insights into the lived experiences and identities of Black Americans. Cultural practices among Black Americans also exhibit similarities to those of indigenous tribes. From spiritual beliefs and ceremonies to traditional crafts and cuisine, these cultural continuities suggest a blending of African and indigenous heritage. Proponents of the hidden native theory argue that these practices have been overlooked or misattributed to African origins. The colonization of North America by European powers had devastating effects on indigenous populations. Diseases brought by Europeans decimated tribes, and the survivors were often displaced from their ancestral lands. Many indigenous people were enslaved, assimilated, or reclassified as Negro or Black in colonial records, obscuring their true heritage. Colonial governments, and later, the United States government, implemented policies that further eroded indigenous identities. The Indian Removal Act of 1830 forcibly relocated many tribes to reservations, while others were absorbed into the growing population of enslaved Africans. Over time, the distinction between indigenous people and African slaves became increasingly blurred in historical records. Racial classification systems imposed by colonial and American authorities played a significant role in the erasure of indigenous identities. The one-drop rule, which classified anyone with African ancestry as black, contributed to the assimilation of indigenous people into the black population. Additionally, census records and legal documents often failed to accurately capture the diverse ancestries of individuals, leading to a homogenization of racial categories. The Lumbee tribe of North Carolina provides a compelling example of the hidden native theory. The Lumbee are recognized as a Native American tribe, yet many members have phenotypic characteristics traditionally associated with Black Americans. Genetic studies of the Lumbee have revealed a mixture of Native American, African, and European ancestry, challenging simplistic racial classifications. The Lumbee's history is marked by resilience and adaptation. Despite being denied federal recognition as a Native American tribe for many years, they have maintained a distinct cultural identity and continue to assert their indigenous heritage. 
The Lumby case exemplifies the complex interplay of race, identity, and ancestry in the United States. The Melungeons, a group primarily located in the Appalachian region, also illustrate the hidden native theory. Historically described as a triracial isolate group, the Melungeons have a complex heritage that includes Native American, African, and European ancestry. Early accounts often depicted them as a mysterious and racially ambiguous people. Genetic research on the Melungeons has confirmed their mixed ancestry with significant contributions from Native American populations. The Melungeons' history highlights the fluidity of racial identities and the persistence of indigenous heritage despite centuries of marginalization and discrimination. The hidden Native theory is not without its critics. Many historians and anthropologists argue that the traditional narrative of African ancestry remains the most plausible explanation for the origins of Black Americans. They caution against overstating the significance of genetic markers and emphasize the importance of historical documentation. Critics also point out that the hidden native theory can inadvertently undermine the experiences of African slaves and their descendants by diverting attention from the brutal realities of the transatlantic slave trade. They argue for a balanced approach that acknowledges both African and indigenous contributions to Black American heritage. The hidden native theory also has significant social and political implications. Recognizing the indigenous heritage of Black Americans could impact their claims to tribal membership, land rights, and cultural resources. It had also influenced contemporary debates on race, identity, and reparations. Some Native American tribes may resist efforts to redefine their membership criteria or acknowledge Black Americans as part of their communities. These tensions reflect broader issues of identity, belonging, and historical justice.